at the end of the day, these two guys wanted this fight. The fans wanted this fight. And, you know, Connor is, is a mixed martial artist. He's going in and, into a boxing match with arguably the greatest boxer of all time. I don't think it damages the brand or, or Conor McGregor at all. I, I think it actually elevates Conor McGregor. The fact that this kid who, who has so much to lose uh, is willing to step in and is absolutely confident that he will win this fight, um, I, I think it's one of the many reasons that people love Conor McGregor. And, you know, win, lose, or draw, it'll be one of the reasons that people continue to love Conor McGregor. There's not one place that I go to, that Floyd goes to, and anybody affiliated or associated with Floyd Mayweather that asks the question, Floyd, are you going to fight Conor McGregor? This is a very, very hot fight, and this is the fight that the fans want. This is such an unprecedented event, such a spectacle, that all of a sudden people who have never really been interested in either MMA or boxing are interested in this event due to the nature of the competition and the nature of these two personalities. That's an uncapped part of the market that not even Mayweather-Pacquiao touched. And I, th I think this fight is bigger globally than uh, the Mayweather-Pacquiao was. This is a super fight. You know, two different guys from two different sports, you know, going in and putting it on the line. And obviously, you know, you can't charge, you can't charge what you would normally charge for a pay-per-view. I get it. And, and, and saying that there was pushback on, on the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight, there was anything but. It's the, it's the, it's the biggest fight ever in, in, in the history of pay-per-view. Um, and, and, and as much of a, of a clutch as I said, the ticket situation was, people were, people were rabid for tickets. I, I, was, I bought 10 tickets for that fight. That's the worst thing about it. So much respect for Floyd Mayweather, because let me tell you, in the negotiations when we were talking about it, I said Con Connor is right now in the USADA program and is being drug tested right now. As soon as the deal is done, we want, they, they absolutely like, didn't even flinch about drug testing. So much respect to Floyd on that. I'm pretty confident in, in, in the conversation that I had with him. He, he's fired up for this fight, and he's excited to fight again and defend his title by the end of the year. The reason that this fight is so big and the reason that he's such a huge superstar is because this guy will fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. He's going to step in and fight Floyd Mayweather under boxing rules. These are the reasons that people love this kid. You know, I, I got all these guys crying about, oh, Conor McGregor this, Conor McGregor that. Shut up. Step up and fight like Conor McGregor fights. You know, take the big fights. When somebody falls out, you know, in, on four or five days, you know, he, he'll fight anybody. That's why people love him. If, if I had to tell you right here, right now, do I think Conor's coming back this year? I absolutely do. I can't exactly remember the time frame, but the kid, he's been making a lot of noise and, and I had I was I had watched the fight or something, and I was telling Floyd, I was like, this kid got a nice hand game. And Floyd, and, you know, Floyd thought he was like, yeah, he do got a nice hand game. So again, this is this is a fight that Floyd is taking very very seriously because we all do know all it takes in boxing is one shot, and it don't have to be a clean shot. A guy can a, a guy with that kind of power, he can nick you, and you can be buzzed. One thing about Conor McGregor we do know is that you got to pay him very, very close attention because when he touches people, they fall out. Floyd has talked not, nothing else other than fighting Conor McGregor. That's 100% of his focus. You know, when I talked, spoke to him earlier, he was actually running while he was talking to me on the phone with the cell phone in his ear, and he, had to, he told me, I'll call you back. Floyd's not thinking about nothing other than Conor McGregor. That's one thing about... I've always admired about him is that you only can focus on what's in front of you. When you get to looking ahead or remotely considering some other, at this level when you're operating, you, 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 don't, you take the focus off of what it is, then you slip up and you make a mistake. All Floyd is thinking about is fighting Conor McGregor and whipping his ass.